Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Baudouin. Welcome to Lisa's chat room. Yes, you may be thinking you're looking at some really weird colored spaghetti, but you're not. You're actually looking at shoelaces. So today what I'm going to be doing is talking about how I clean my shoelaces. Now this is part of how I reduce formaldehyde and chemicals in my home while also reducing my cleaning time in case it does get in my house. This is all a part of that series, so please make sure that you subscribe and click a notification or at least look at the playlists from time to time to see the videos that I post on there. They're just tips and tricks and I like to share this information. I'm not a chemist or a doctor or anything. I suffer from horrible allergies to formaldehyde and so I'm ultra sensitive to formaldehyde. I have found several people that also that are, but even if you're not, if you just want to reduce the chemical exposure in your home, some of the things I do, they may be a little extreme, but this is what I do. So anything I share with you, you must do at your own risk and peril, but I'm not doing anything too bad. Actually, I think I use less chemicals than most people because when you use laundry detergent, if you turn it around, you can see tons of chemicals on there. So I'm going to just talk about this a little bit. This is just a small conversation and won't take too long. Again, the best thing you can do is go out and look at all the videos because, you know, I don't want to constantly reinvent the reel and talk about everything. I will say that I found out a lot about formaldehyde. It is kind of like a hairspray. It's wet and when it gets onto the material, it dries and it creates a resin. And that resin starts to break down like a powder, but it has weight to it and so it sticks in the fabric. It's almost like a burr-like thing, you know, because it's not dissolving, okay? It doesn't dissolve, really. It just breaks down. And if you know anything about formaldehyde, please go research it. It's an embalming fluid. So it goes into bodies to try to preserve them. It's a preservative. It has a hard time breaking down because that's what its purpose is to stay. One of the main places you're going to find it is in new clothing and also in laundry detergent. So first of all, you need to turn your laundry detergent around and take a look at it because if you're using some type of laundry detergent that has formaldehyde then these videos aren't for you because you're just putting it on your skin and getting it there but if you want to reduce the chemicals you can just listen through and hopefully you get something out of this okay so here what I'm doing is I'm treating my shoelaces I'm not gonna tell you where I bought my tennies but I can tell you that every single pair of tennies I bought in the past have a heck of a time my slippers everything so I have to treat them a certain way and the hard part about things like tennies you know clothing is one thing because you can wash clothing and it's pretty easy it's pretty durable clothing is but tennis shoes you know you keep washing them over and over and over the glue is gonna go bad and they kind of break down a little bit so it's kind of difficult now I could try to find tennis shoes that are formaldehyde free, but it's gonna be pretty expensive. I just don't have the money. So what I do is this process here. So here is a basket that I've got my shoelaces in for three tennis shoes. And here is another basket. Now you can buy this basket too. It, it works really well. It sits into this Tupperware, this plastic container. And so I filled this container up with soapy water. What I do to start is in the basement, I sprayed glass cleaner on here. Now, I buy glass cleaner from Menards. You can also buy white glass cleaner for your whites. That's what I do when I first get my new clothes is I spray them down with that because there's several chemicals that I believe that are breaking down the resins, neutralizing them, should I say. Ammonia is one of them. So I buy an ammonia glass cleaner and it's at lower levels than full strength ammonia. So ammonia is caustic, so you gotta be careful. Now I do use ammonia in my laundry but I put it on right directly on the clothes once the water's filled and then I get out of the wash machine area. Here what I do is I spritz it with glass cleaner and I usually have this in an area where I'm not gonna be and I leave it for like a day and then I spritz it again. In this container what I'll do is I will fill it up with warm water and I will put washing soda. It's very inexpensive but it's very caustic so be very very careful. I always, always, always use my gloves, even when I'm just doing my dishes. When you're doing your dishes, you're using chemicals, wash the dishes, plus the water's been treated. So I always use my gloves. That's another way to reduce that chemical exposure. You know, if you allow things to get on your skin, lotions, shampoos, anything, anything that's in that is gonna absorb into your body. So again, what I do is I fill it up with warm water and I fill it up about an inch down from the top. I'm very worried that I'm gonna spill this. I have a place in the basement where I do this and then I put this container right into there and it just sits in there for a couple days. Then I take it out and I do this a couple times. 
Then, once that's done, I'll bring it upstairs, or you can do this down in the basement too. I will wash these off and rinse them off, and I will use my gloves, and I will use that board as like a washing board. So I'll take my gloves, I'll put my gloves on, always with gloves, and I'll just go like this. And I'll just go back and forth, and what that's doing is it's breaking down the resins. I'll touch them, and I'll like scrunch them together, and I'll do that, and then I'll put them back into the water, and I rinse them, and I do that about four times. Thing is, is you don't suffer from formaldehyde issues, maybe. Maybe you do, but if you don't, how are you going to know if the formaldehyde is out? Well, the way you do that is through you know, a playbook plan. You have a plan of your own. Like For me, if I didn't know that this was uh, full of formaldehyde, I'd still do this, and I would do this once a month, depending upon how much I use the shoes. But I would do it about once a month. And eventually what will happen is the formaldehyde will dissipate from those shoes. Now, this is just about the shoelaces. You can also use this for the shoes. You could stick the shoes in and go back and forth. I use the wash machine, and I do about the same thing. I really spritz them down with glass cleaner. I let them sit in the wash machine for a couple days. I spray them again, and then I fill that wash machine up, and I put about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of washing soda. Now, be very, very careful with washing soda. I used to go through this huge ritual, which I still kind of do if I feel the formaldehyde, but... Basically, if you do that and then you wash it again, what I call that is a pre-soak. I rinse that out and then I pre-soak with ammonia. Now, be careful with ammonia too. It's very caustic. But if you buy a jug of ammonia, you'll see the directions on the back of how to use it. Be careful. Use goggles. Use gloves. And be, you know, far away. Try to keep your face away from the washing tub. When I do that, I shut the tub and I leave it sit overnight. I will wash it through and it goes through one rinse cycle. And then I wash it with baking soda and distilled vinegar. It's not vinegar, it's distilled vinegar. And then I use a spritz bottle with vinegar and I spritz that onto the clothes and I dry them. That's what I do. I also have to be careful dryer sheets. People don't realize, oh, I'm going to reduce my chemical exposure by using baking soda. And then they go and use some kind of dryer sheet. Well, guess what? It could be in that dryer sheet. So just make sure that you check it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to raise awareness. For me, I don't need the dryer sheet because the vinegar softens the clothes, especially when I spritz it before it goes into the dryer. Now, be very careful. And you do that at your own risk and peril because distilled vinegar is still acid. So check your dryer. Make sure that you can put that on your clothing. How I came about that is I actually was reading. You know, I'm constantly reading. How can I get this out? Because it's really hard to get out of clothing. It is terribly difficult. And I think the process that I'm using works pretty good now because the washing soda is kind of like it pushes out the resins and the baking soda pushes out the resins and the vinegar kind of destroys the resin. So that really works. But I also vacuum my dryer every time I'm done drying clothes. That's important too because if I wash something brand new and there's still a little bit of debris on there, it's going to get in my dryer. And when I put clothes that I'm going to wash that are normally dirty without formaldehyde, I'm going to contaminate them again if that stuff's in there. It's like... Think of a talcum powder that you put on your skin. It, it attracts to clothing. So that's what I wanted to say today. I also do this with my hair supplies. Now, I would say, I don't know if I mentioned this, if, if I wasn't allergic to formaldehyde, if I didn't know, I would definitely do this with my new shoes. And I would also, once I'm done washing my shoes, I would vacuum them. Vacuuming is the best way. I mean, you vacuum your couches because of pets and whatnot. Just think of it that way. Think of it as dander, all right? And you're vacuuming that out of your shoes and your clothing. So I vacuum all my clothing after I'm done washing them to remove anything. And you'd be so surprised once you see how much stuff accumulates into your vacuum canister. It's just amazing. So definitely do this before you wear them. And then just do this like once every month, depending upon, you know, if you're wearing them all the time, I would definitely wash them out once a month. It will eventually, with wear, especially your shoes, not your clothes so much, but your shoes, because you're moving in your shoes, some of it will come off just by wear, and it will just, that's why they use it in dead bodies. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please click like. Any comments, please put them below. I am very serious about this. I do not want inappropriate comments going below. They do get filtered out if you say something bad, so don't do that, please. Make sure you're really, you know, my channel is very serious about trying to help other people. So please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family.
And as always, please stay safe and stay healthy until I see you.